Hey everybody, Ann here, just sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee, got a beautiful fire going. I'm about to cook breakfast, but before I cook it, I want to show you the eggs that I collected yesterday. Look at these eggs. Alright, so I only got eight yesterday, but that's still plenty. Look at these two. I've got two hens that are laying gargantuan eggs. Look at that. Oh my gosh, they're huge! I mean, compared... Whoops! Dropped one, but it didn't open up all the way, so I'm going to put it in something real quick so I can cook it up. Look at that beautiful big egg yolk. Yeah. So what I want to do now is I want to weigh the rest of these and see how much they weigh. Let's weigh this first one, because I think it's the biggest. Stay there. Don't roll. 3.4 ounces. Let's weigh the next one. Three ounces. Let's just keep this rolling so we won't have to be here all day. 2.2. .2. I think that other one was bigger that I cracked open. Whoops. 2.0. Yeah, it's a green egg layer. Two point oh another Easter egger one point nine looks like another one point nine. Yep. Woo! I'll tell you what, these are big, big eggs. I want to crack them open. I cracked one of these big eggs open yesterday and it was a double yoker. So let me crack this one open. I don't know where my tripod is. I think it's outside. So I'm just going to crack these open and show you them one by one. The first biggest one, yep, double yoker. Second big one, yep, double yoker. And all the rest are single yokers. Don't they look beautiful? Since I didn't really know how much an average chicken egg weighs, I went to looking on the internet and I found an article on FreshEggsDaily.com and they had this nice little chart. I'll leave a link down in the description box below so you can go check it out for yourself. And this chart pretty much lines up with various other sources on the internet as well. So a small egg up to 1.75 ounces, medium 1.75 to 2 ounces, large 2 to 2.5 ounces, extra large 2.25 to 2.5 ounces, and a jumbo 2.5 ounces and bigger. Yeah, I definitely got some jumbo eggs, extra large eggs. It's a beautiful thing. I stirred this up a little bit. Yeah, I need to stir it some more. There's non-fat dry milk in there with some water. It needs to be beat up a little bit more, but... Next, I'm going to add freeze-dried broccoli. I think that'll do. And next, some Augustine Farms dehydrated cheese. We're just going to scoop that on in there. Oh, that's going to be so good. So delicious. And it'll rehydrate itself in there because I put in a little extra water. I'm just going to beat this all up. And what we're going to do today, it's going to be kind of like a quiche, but more really like um, a frittata. I'm just going to pour it in my pan once it heats up. And we're going to make a lovely dish for me and the puppies. And to that, I'm going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Oh, I think that's good enough, don't you? It's time to get cooking! I tested the pan with a little egg and it looks like it's ready. So let's pour this in, all of it in, to the pan. And then I'm just going to kind of make sure the broccoli is kind of distributed evenly. And then I'm just going to put the lid on and let it cook. Now the fun begins. It's been going about 20 minutes, so what I'm going to do now is, oop, that's hot. I'm just going to turn this around because that side of the pan is towards the back of the stove, so it's hotter. Just going to turn it all the way around and put the lid back on and let it cook for a little while longer. 
about, oh, I don't know, 30 minutes later, actually, it is done. I'm going to remove it from the heat and let it sit for a little bit, and then we're going to slice it up. I just wanted to show you how beautifully it came out of the pan. Hardly any sticking to the bottom. It just came right out. This came out perfect. Look at how beautiful that came out. It's perfect. And underneath, it's not burnt at all. <laughs> can, you, can you see underneath of there? I had the heat just right. Let's taste this. Mmm. Oh. I'm glad I didn't put any ketchup on it because the flavor is already just so good. And the, and the cheese melted perfectly. It's just like melting your mouth. Oh my goodness. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, this is so good. Perfect. See there? It's not burnt. It's brown. That's okay. No crust. Oh no, should I call this a quiche or a frittata? Hmm. Hmm. All I know is it's delicious. I decided to look up the terms omelet and frittata, so I go to the spruce seats every now and again. And so here's how they define the difference between an omelet and a frittata. Because it's not a quiche, it doesn't have a crust. The beauty of an omelet is that it can be as simple as eggs and milk or as elaborate as spinach, tomato, and feta cheese. You can add any ingredient you like and have a meal on the table in a matter of minutes. The basic recipe calls for cooking a lightly whisked mixture of eggs, seasonings, and milk, if you choose, in butter in a frying pan. The key is that you don't stir the eggs once they are in the pan. You let them sit and cook until firm. The frittata is made a little bit differently. They say we can make a frittata with the same ingredients as an omelet, but here the milk, or more preferably cream, is crucial. That's because the frittata is essentially a custard filled with any vegetables, herbs, cheese, meat, even pasta, blah, 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 and it's cooked in a frying pan, whereas an omelet's filling is just sprinkled over the top. Uh, the frittata's additions need to be mixed in with the egg and cream before cooking. And it can either be cooked over the stove top or in the oven. So I learned two things today. How much an average egg weighs and how much my eggzilla eggs weigh. And they weigh a lot. And the difference between a omelet and a frittata and a quiche. So that's awesome. Anyway, uh, it's starting to warm up. It is. Uh, the sun is starting to come out. So I'm going to go out and dig in the dirt. I think I'm going to go... Yeah, I'm going to go dig in the dirt, but you'll get to see that tomorrow. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.